Hi guys, welcome back to Belly Acres Kitchen. Hey, I wanted to do a throwback video today. This is way back when we lived on the farm and mom used to live with us. Uh, she did this video on how to make homemade chorizo and I just thought it was a really good video to share. It is on our other channel, but I thought it would be good to share here as well. So my mom is going to show us how she makes um, uh, chorizo and um, we're doing this with the ground pork. We have almost four pounds of ground pork. And then I'd like to say that we have a recipe, but we don't. <laughs> We're just gonna make it, but mom's gonna tell us what all goes in it. Okay, we get the meat, we put garlic, uh, chili powder, and cominos, uh, cumin. Cumin, uh-huh. And some vinegar. Some distilled white vinegar. Yes. And then the stuff that we get ready to be able to make it, um, we, oh. we get a uh, just a regular gallon bag. It doesn't have to be freezer. Uh, it can just be a gallon um, storage bag. And then we poke holes all through it um, because uh, this uh, chorizo has to it has to cure and for drain. drain and drain for three days. And then we just take a regular um, cooling rack and then something for it to drain into. So we just kind of set that on top of there like that. Okay. Okay, we start out with cominos, cumin, and you just pour it all in there really good. And then you get garlic. And you just sprinkle it all in there. Really, really good. Then you get your chili powder and you put it in there. Sprinkle it good, good. Plenty of it. And then you mix it all up. And then you put your vinegar later. <laughs> mm -hmm. You just make sure you've got everything in here. And where did you learn how to make this? My dad. <laughs> My dad used to make this with hamburger meat. You guys, it comes out really good. Um, you have to be patient for uh, for uh, chorizo because yes. it does take, uh, like I said, three days uh, to cure or to ferment or whatever it is. I don't know if it's really fermenting. I know you put the vinegar in. It just cures it. The yeah. vinegar cures it. Too. Mix it all really good. And then you pick your. So mom says to put enough in there to make your meat red, but not too red. No, not too red. Just so enough uh, chili powder. So yeah. that that is, that right there is the scale. It's red, not too red. It's She's smell. also smelling it. Oh yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, we cook a lot by smell. <laughs> um, and then you pour your vinegar in. Like she says, we don't have recipes, we just pour. <laughs> <laughs> pour till it looks right, right? Mm -hmm. You can smell. Mm -hmm. it's, it instantly smells like chorizo. Uh, if you've ever had chorizo, like Mexican sausage, uh, they do like chorizo and eggs. And, um, I think I still need a little bit more of this. More chili powder? More chili powder. Just you know what this needs? This needs more chili powder. More chili powder. <laughs> it's like cowbell, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you got an extra little shot. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was uh, your ancestors going, nope, just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. My dad said, hey, a little more. <laughs> There's a meme on Facebook that says, uh, I don't cook with recipes. I just cook until my ancestors say, whisper, that's enough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, there it is. All right, so there's that. Okay. Smell? Oh, God, that's chorizo. Oh, right. It smells so good. Just secure it really good. Mm -hmm. Do you I think, think that's enough? Yeah. You want a little more? Yeah, I think we better put a little more of that. You tell me when, but don't yell at me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, yes. When I was little. 
she would, when she was teaching me how to cook, she'd say, pour this in, and then she'd say, what would you say, mas, mas, and yeah. like she'd say, more, 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 and then she'd say, yeah, yeah. and it would scare me, and I'd go, what? <laughs> So that's why I was like, don't yell at me. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. All right, so then we're just going to put that in the bag. In our bag. And the bag has holes in it, and you have a lot of vinegar in that meat. So you want to be careful not to like, get it all over yourself. Yeah. But then we're just going to lay it flat. Okay, so you put it in that bag that has holes. And then we're going to flatten it out. <clears throat> and having it on that cooling rack on top of a pan, um, all that's going to do is allow that to drain because as it cures, it will drain. And uh, we just leave that to um, drain right there. We're going to put it in the refrigerator, right? Yes, put it in there and let it drain. And we leave it for? Three days. Three days. So we got to mark our calendar so we don't forget about it. Because <laughs> I usually put it in the refrigerator outside so it's not taking up uh, space for three days. And um, it will start to smell amazing. <laughs> so there you have it, the um, secret recipe to make a chorizo. <laughs> Only you don't really have a recipe, it's just kind of... Yes, stuff put together. It's just put together. <laughs> but it will be amazing. Okay guys, so there you have it. That is chorizo with my mom. And uh, we're going to let that cure for three days and then it's going to be amazing. Then we'll package it into one pound packages mm -hmm. and uh, freeze it. But yeah, we're just going to let it do its thing. Um, I hope you guys uh, like our videos. If you do, hit the like button, uh, subscribe, share with your friends, comment, um, and smash that bell button. <laughs> and until next time, God bless. God bless. Of course, I couldn't finish out this video without showing you guys some footage of some great chorizo and pork um, tacos that I had made. Um, just for reference, this is keto version, non-keto version of tacos. I hope you guys make this uh, chorizo and try it. It is so good. Thanks, you guys.